Welcome back everyone. So I had a comment a guy asking me to dig a little bit deeper into this our Ruger P94 I had it standing up with that So I'm gonna do it and I was kind of dreading it because uh <laughs> It gets to be a pain in the ass when you dig this far into it But he wants to know about the hammer pin and all how to take it down. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do it real quick So first and foremost Same old routine make sure this thing's down you have to make sure that thing's down Line the two lines up, push our pin back there, boom. I like to just, if I'm not messing with anything else, I like to just pop that pin back where it's out of the way a little bit. Okay, our hammer. We of course have to take the grips off to get to this, so we're gonna pop them off real quick. Little screw on each side holding them on, nothing too hard. There we go. Grip. Grip. Taken down. All right, there we are. Okay, so I don't exactly know where I was at explaining this because I got a phone call from my boss about reloading. <laughs> go figure. But anyway, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if the guy really wanted to see the hammer removed or just the hammer pin itself. I, I don't know exactly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the hammer and everything. Just make sure we have everything covered. Okay, first I'm just going to show this spring setup in here because that gets changed out quite often. New setups and all. It's pretty simple. This pin, pin's really not hard. Use that and I actually have a little file here that I'm just kind of using as a press. Now you want, before this pin comes completely out, you want your finger over this. Trust me, don't make that mistake. This is spring loaded. Oop, there we are. Now two things here, you got a little uh, metal piece in here, don't lose it. So we'll set that to the side. We'll reach in with my other pair of pliers. I'm just gonna reach in and grab this spring real quick. It's kinda hard to do. And I'm looking through a camera and, oh, but hey. I had it too. There we are. We also have our, uh, little hammer arm here you want to try to not let not lose that not let that come out the gun because it's a pain to get back in but I tell y'all what oops so we'll show how to put that back in in a minute okay then technically your hammer what's holding the pivot point of your hammer the pin is actually this little piece right here it's pretty easy to pull back out so your hammers free up freed up now but it won't come out yet you can't get it out in any of these ways. Unfortunately, to get it out, you got to take this setup apart. And this can be a pain. But we're going to do it anyway. So, getting it out is not hard. In fact, before you attempt this, it's a good idea to take your phone, your camera, or whatever, and take a couple pictures of this. Okay, we're going to show it real close here. we got two pins we're going to drive out, and everything's going to basically come out. But we got to put it back the exact same way. So, it's going to be really hard for me to show you at the same time, unfortunately. But, we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, this little, uh, little short file is perfect for little pins that aren't under any pressure. Okay, got a spring here, so I always like to put my finger over it. Just to keep from losing it. That's going to fall out. Your little keeper right here is going to pop back up. This piece is going to come out. And unfortunately, this thing still won't come out. So we got to pull this one out too. There. Now that those are out, she comes out just fine. And, I mean, for the most part, that's the... That's everything you would have to do with this. All right, so here we are. We're going to start putting everything back together. Getting this arm back in right here. This is a pain. Fair warning. But I say if you get... <laughs> if you're able to do it, don't let this thing fall out. Oh, 
I want to say you can look through right here. Oh, I might have to move it off. What's going to happen with these two pieces? This is the first thing we're going to do is put this hammer back in place. And well, what's going to happen is our hammer's actually this way in the gun. And this thing is going to fit on a little, a little round piece in here. A little, almost looks like a pin going through it, but it's made into it. Or no, it's actually a pin. But it's going to fit on there, and that's your pivot point. And of course, you're going to have upward pressure on it. Okay, I want to say we have it where it needs to go. So we're going to hold all this in place. We'll push this spring back in. Oh, we don't. Now we do. Push this spring back in. There, we got the spring back in. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh. Flip this over. Put our little hammer pin back in. That'll make sure everything's right. Alright, now that all that's back in place, we're going to take our little piece here, got a hole in it, it's got to match up with this hole over here, it's going to push the hammer up, and it did, so you got to play with it until you get those holes lined up, looking like we got them pretty close right now, nope. Take our pin. Ah, got it held. Got it pretty close. Put our pin in. We're just gonna find something and tap it. There we go. These things. So you might have to tap them to get them started, but they really just kind of push on through. You can take something and just. Push them flat. It's in. And our hammer seems to work. Everything seems to work there, so we'll start putting the top of this first thing, thing back first. Together. Is this piece here. And if we push this down, this little rod right here on this one. Right here that I'm touching has to fit down in this groove back here. Let's see if I can touch it. But right back here, it's really a pain, but honestly, it goes into place pretty easy. This one does. The next one doesn't. Get our pin started going through. Get our piece lifted up in place. Find sometimes it's easier to grab it with something. There we are. We got our pin started. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that's all we're doing right there. This piece in, our pin started. We could pretty much push it all the way through now. Now these pins actually aren't held in until the spring's put back on right here. So you do have to worry about that falling out. So try to hold the gun up, I guess. The best advice I could give you. This little arm right here has to fit over this right here. Pull this up closer. Over right here. But it has to go underneath this other arm. Like so. That way y'all can see that. But that's about it. I got right something there. else wrong here too. So, See this little piece. Hard to see. 
you got a little piece here right here with a nub you got this arm it's got to go on the other side of this arm so I gotta pull this out Alright. And this stuff is hard to show. And it could be a pain. Something is messing with my sinuses right now. Okay, once we got the spring held partially in place, we're going to want to hit this pin a little bit, get it started on the spring. And honestly, once it started, it's pretty... It usually goes right on in, yeah. Now, we want to make sure these two pins are flush. They can't come out any side either, you know. We want to make sure these two pins are flush. Ooh, blurry. We want to make sure these two pins are flush now. Because the slide slides right over this. And actually, the slide holds these in. Along with this spring. Okay, while we got all this back together, we're going to throw the slide on and make sure everything works real quick. So, pull this on out. Oh, damn it. Make sure this is back down. Boom. Pins lined up. This is lined up in place. And actually, the grip helps hold this pin. So right now, we're just going to hold the pin ourselves. We're going to... We don't have to hold it just yet. But uh, we'll pop this back up. We got a cocked hammer. All right, so if you guys want to see the grips thrown back on, we'll do that real quick. If not, you can actually skip this video at this point. But boom. Like I said, this grip will actually hold this in place. Really simple design. I mean, a couple things are a pain in the ass, but aren't they on every gun? Come on. All right, so for the guy that asked about this video, look, if this wasn't exactly what you wanted to see, I missed the mark somewhere. So I know you asked about the hammer itself, the hammer pin. Just let me know. I'll remake another video. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, anyway, that's it. Ruger P94. Awesome gun. Thanks for watching.